Good morning, this is Bishop Warren Boyd and thank you for joining us uh, with our Motivational Monday. Today I want to talk to you about the power of thanksgiving. I want to read first of all from Luke chapter number 17 verses 15 through 19. It reads as follows, and one of them when he had saw that he was healed turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? There are not found that return to give glory to God, save this stranger. And he said unto him, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. There is great power in giving God thanks. In these days and times in which we live, I wonder if we found ourselves complaining, complaining about being in the house, complaining about uh, wearing a mask, complaining about wearing gloves, complaining about there being no toilet paper, no hand sanitizer. I wonder if we've com found ourselves complaining about being cooped up in the house with our own family. We played all the games and seen all the movies and now we're ready to get out. But I believe that this leper uh, teaches us a valuable lesson, lesson in giving God thanks. Jesus encountered 10 lepers and upon encountering them and them asking for his mercy, he just told them to go show themselves to the priests. Nine went uh, and showed themselves to the priests and only one came back and showed himself to Jesus and gave him thanks for his healing. What a powerful lesson it is. And it was just not good manners. Jesus in his thanksgiving recognized far more than just good manners. He saw this man's faith. And I want us to know that in our thanksgiving, in our praise, is an indication of our faith. Praise and thanksgiving is the language of faith. When we give God thanks, we are in essence telling God, thank you for being God, and thank you for doing what only God can do in our life. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 instructs us in everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you in our in the Bible we see often the children of Israel in going through their wilderness journey were an ungrateful people an unthankful people always murmuring and always complaining it was evidence of their lack of faith in God but this week I want to challenge all of you if you won't join me in giving God thanks. And there's plenty to give thanks to God for in our life. We just have to look for it. Past our inconveniences and past the things that, that trouble us, we can give God thanks. And so I challenge you this week, give God thanks. Thank him for your family. Thank him for your life. Thank him for your health. Thank him for the ways he's made. Thank God for providing for you. Thank God for protecting you. Thank God for friends. Thank God for those who call on you. Thank God for those who are checking on you. And thanking, thank God for those who support you and encourage you in God. There are plenty of things, if we'll try, there are plenty of things that we'll find to give God thanks for. And if we begin to thank God, we will find less time and less opportunity to complain or to murmur or to whine. Let's give God thanks because there's power in thanksgiving.